Hi everybody, Big Scribe here, and I've got another review for you. First off, I would like to say, yes, I'm in the hospital. Yes, I know the lighting's not that great, and it's not my typical setup. And who really wants to watch a video of a guy in a hospital bed doing a review of a Marvel show? Well, obviously, anybody that's a dedicated Marvel fan, because, you know, we're not going to let a simple sickness hold us down and keep us from enjoying our shows and our movies. But, anyway, you guys all know that uh, Marvel's Iron Fist came out recently on the 17th. And it was pretty much anticipated for, like, two years we've been waiting for this thing to come out. And we've been so excited about it. Ever since Comic-Con, when they showed the big trailer for it, and the who is Danny Rand, blah, blah, blah. Well, let me tell you, I watched the entire season in two days, and it was amazing. I loved it. I was completely surprised by it. Never really knew much about Iron Fist as a character. I have gained a whole other level of respect for Marvel and Netflix and the storylines that they got going on with the Defenders series. And I really can't wait to see the Defenders. That being said, I'm not going to spoil anything for anybody except the fact that we know that the Hand and Madame Gao are still very much active and they are going to play a big role in the Defenders, either either in the Defenders or in uh, Iron Fist Season 2. More likely the Defenders, and I see that being the kind of thing that's uniting them all, because we saw the hand in uh, Daredevil Season 2, and I think we're going to see the hand come into play in like either Luke Cage Season 2 or Jessica Jones Season 2. We already know that Jessica Jones and Luke Cage both have ties to the uh, the Iron Fist storyline because of, okay, Luke Cage has Claire, and then uh, in the one the one spoiler I can give you is the Easter egg for Jessica Jones uh, when Joy, uh, one of the characters in Iron Fist, mentions uh, hiring a private investigator. She says she's great when she's not drunk. Obviously, we know who that is. Everyone's favorite super, super strength, drunk, awesome chick, Jessica Jones. Which, by the way, I got her pop coming to me, and it's amazing. But I just want to say, Iron Fist is great. Two thumbs up. I love it. I think it's one of the best series I've seen on Netflix yet. And I, I have to say, it's not, to me, it's not as good as Daredevil and uh, Luke Cage and Jessica Jones were. But I think it was more, it was more of like a spiritual kind of story on like finding your inner strength and not relying on like your outer brute force kind of strength, you know? And I, I think it had a, I think it was, it was clo more closely related to Daredevil than it was Luke Cage or Jessica Jones. Because I think Daredevil kind of delves into that inner strength storyline too. Finding the inner you and fighting your demons that are trying to control you and weigh you down. And I think that's one of the big messages in, in Iron Fist is uh, not letting your anger get the best of you and not letting your emotions control you. And yeah, and I know I keep messing with this oxygen mask. It's, it's annoying the crap out of me. But one of the big messages in Iron Fist is not letting your emotions get the better of you. And I think that's something we all kind of deal with, uh, especially those of us who deal with anxiety and depression and stuff like that. Uh, we let our emotions cloud our judgment and kind of base our decisions based on how we feel. And basically Iron, Iron Fist gives you the message that you can overcome that, that you can be a better you. You can step outside that confining box of emotions and you can find an inner peace that helps you to do great things in your life. And I think that's a really positive message, especially with the dark and gritty feel that Marvel has been giving us with these uh, Netflix shows. I think that was an amazingly positive message. And I don't think as many people are going to read into it the way I did. They're not going to read into it, into that the way I did as much, but I think it's amazing. And there's a character in it who, who I will tell you, I won't spoil who, but one of them is a traitor, somewhat. And 
they're kind of given a second chance. And I think that's another important message that Iron Fist has for its audience is that there's always second chances. No matter what you've done, there's always a second chance. And those of us who are Christian, we know that our second chance comes through Jesus Christ. That is our second chance at life, our second shot at redemption. And that's our way of redeeming ourselves and getting back into that relationship with God that we're born apart from. But I think it's just, I think it's awesome that we see betrayal and we see forgiveness and we see overcoming emotions like, I think it's awesome that all this is portrayed in the show, but it's, like, made in the style of a kung fu movie. And let me just say, my favorite part of the entire series was, I can't tell you who it is, but there is a guy who fights in the drunken monkey style of kung fu. This dude is amazing, and he had me cracking up, laughing hysterically. I mean, aside from the fact that he was Asian, and he had a thick British accent, and it just kind of made no sense considering they were in China. But, but anyway, I digress. <laughs> but I just wanted you guys to know I love it. Iron Fist is amazing. You need to go watch it. You need to go watch it now because we need to get ready for the Defenders, which I'm sure they're probably already filming out there somewhere. We need to get ready for the Defenders, and I wish the Defenders would come like tomorrow because it's killing me waiting on this series to come out. Because it's going to be a crossover between Daredevil, Iron Fist, Luke Cage, and Jessica Jones. We're finally going to see the crossover that we've been waiting for. And it's going to be epic. Ah. Anyway. Alright. I love you guys. The medicine's starting to kick in. I'm starting to get a little loopy. Last thing I need is a YouTube video of me talking about the pink unicorns and the dancing rainbows around my head. Don't worry, my head's not actually that gay inside. It just sounds that way on video. I'm wording this bad. I'm going to go. God bless y'all. Bye. <laughs>